Press the bell icon and never miss an update from Digital Hash. I think uh, my inspiration for Mirzapur was uh, coming from Inside Edge. I just wanted to immerse myself in a world that was very different and a genre that was very different. And I think, uh, you know, no one has really been able to uh, do justice to the idea of a hinterland, small town, western uh, because of all the uh, constraints that we have seen in cinema all this time and I think uh, given the license that we had to go all out, it was a very very exciting uh, idea to uh, sort of create the world of Mirzapur. Munna's character because he you know, it's very easy to create a sort of cardboard, unidimensional antagonist. But, you know, at the same time, I think all of us in the writing team wanted to have at least this one moment where, you know, you see this extremely uh, violent person, but at the same time, you sort of feel sorry for him, which I think we achieved, you know, in, in uh, one of the episodes. And, and for me to be able to uh, uh, to see an audience sort of react in that moment and almost feel bad for this person who's the worst kind of most terrible and fun terrible that you can uh, think of and, and you know have some sympathy for him at that moment and then again sort of roll back from there. I think that was the big victory for me in terms of the character graphs that we created. I think uh, India is full of like, very, very interesting uh, people and characters and uh, you know when we were travelling for the show and so we just like sort of stole a little bit of you know a lot of people who we came across and uh, created uh, characters on our own. So I wouldn't say anyone's like a sort of direct uh, uh, you know has an inspiration for someone who's sort of in real life and you know just copy pasted it but we just took little bits of a lot of people and personalities who we met on our travels and sort of wrote them in. There were a lot of scenes that really stood out but um, I had, uh, for me one of my favorite scenes is the Munna compounder uh, scene. Uh, I don't know if this works, it's a spoiler but uh, Munna has to basically um, kill his best friend in front of his father and for me that was like the best scene. I would say almost all of the story has made it. Uh, we have a very tight sort of shooting schedule so we uh, absolutely do not overshoot or any minimize uh, you know anything extraneous and we keep it very cut to cut. So uh, pretty much all of the story has made it. There was a lot of ideas that we had during the first season which I'm pretty sure are going to spill over to the second season. I think uh, it's very important for directors to be involved in their own scripts at, you know, from a conception writing stage. Even if they're not the ones writing it, they should just be very involved with the material. I think the more time you spend with the material is the more um, sort of you pick up on the nuances, you pick up on you know how you want to do certain things, you keep thinking about them, it's just there in your head, right? And I feel uh, that adds a lot to your approach when you get on set. You sort of should already know or have a vision of what's going to happen. And the real fun happens is when you know the, the actors come on and the lights come on and, 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 you, and, and, and everything goes beyond, a little bit beyond that vision. And even that little bit I think just makes any director really happy. Um, so actually I've always sort of directed my own stuff so I've not really had the I, you know opportunity to direct other people's writing but I think it's uh, I'm looking forward to that and see how I'm going to be able to cope with that. There was never any such issue on in my mind it, the idea is to write uh, for a medium that is very liberated, that is seen by a sort of liberated audience also and I feel uh, it, it allows us and it's not about you know the sleaze or the sex or the, or the or the language it is literally about you know just how someone would speak naturally in their natural environs and, and it's uh, that's what we really need to capture in the in just the way we wrote our dialogue for example it and it's not about the cuss words it's 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 or the profanity it's just being able to not try to second guess 
you know, an authority figure who's sitting with scissors in their hands. So uh, we never really thought about it. I mean, we thought about it and laughed it off because we didn't have that constraint. You know, this is a really testosterone-driven world in Mirzapur and, and uh, I think the women over here, we've tried very hard as writers to create characters who have, you know, a lot of agency. They, you know, this is set in a world where, where in real life women have very little say. And, you know, we wanted to create this little balance about, okay, you know, this is what you're familiar with in reality, but here's what they're thinking. We try to get into their heads, we try to get into their private you know, spaces and or moments of reflection where they really we sort of try to touch upon how they feel in this um, in, in, and, and, and in this world and they also have a lot of uh, agency in terms of how you know they, they're very sure of themselves as all women are I mean like and, and as they should be and um, you know they just act on that in, in, in the smartest way possible given their constraints in, in this uh, in the spaces they inhabit and uh, you're going to see a lot more of them with a lot more agency in the next season. So Mirzapur 2 is in writing and uh, that's all I can say for now. So uh, the form doesn't uh, really matter as long as it's you know exciting content like 5 minutes for an ad film for, for example which is 30 seconds or um, something that goes on for 400 minutes, like in a limited series, streaming series. So I'm open to doing anything. So there's no question about uh, what it is. It's, it just has to be exciting and, 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 and fun to do. I'm very keen on exploring genres. I mean, I don't, I don't really have one favorite genre, but I'm very keen to uh, know where my to, to keep exploring and, and I think uh, I, I'm a hugely political person and I have very strong opinions on things and I think that is something maybe I want to move towards, you know, so like a sort of political, I don't know, let's see. I understand this is a very new concept of having a sort of monthly awards and, you know, uh, helping people uh, sort of connect with a lot new shows coming so that's where it really helps uh, instead of like an annual thing where you just have the, the top five yeah you're, you're, you're giving I think your readers and viewers to sort of experience what is essentially uh, the entire uh, sort of gamut of uh, content that's coming out digitally there's there's a lot of space for a lot of talent on digital platforms there's no constraints um, like we've spoken of before and uh, it's important to recognize everyone's contribution to that Um, we have Inside Edge 2 coming out uh, that uh, um, mid next year, is that's one thing and I'm working on two more projects which uh, two more new projects that I will get into. For all the latest updates on web entertainment, log on to digitalhash.com.